Hey everybody, welcome. We are going to uh, basically juice a baby coconut and get all of its fresh, nutritious juice out. It's great for uh, rehydrating yourself after a good workout or something like that. What I'm doing now is I'm just opening up a plastic bag as a nice, kind of a drop cloth, almost a canvas so I don't make a big mess of my house. This here cost me $1.98 the local produce market. It's a Brazilian coconut that has been shaved of its shell and um, wrapped in plastic for shipping. So just a little word on pricing. For $1.98 I get a pint to almost two pints, almost a quart of fresh coconut juice. A lot of people you'll see coconut juice in these little cardboard cartons right now for two to three dollars for really half the amount and this has never been processed, it's never seen any air, it's never been anything, it is what it is. It doesn't have the sour taste that you get in a lot of those things. It's just great, nice sweet coconut juice. What I suggest is that you refrigerate them for a little while and get them nice and cold. There's a couple of ways of doing this. You can obviously take a knife and hack it open and try to take as much juice out as you want. It gets a little messy that way. Um, when you do hack it open, you can open it up and scrape the shell and get all the meat out, which some people like. I'm more interested in just getting the coconut juice. So I have a drill and I have some drill bits. Where'd you get the drill? The drill was a gift from my mother-in-law for Christmas. She thought I was a real handyman. It's become a uh, useful kitchen utensil, utensil more than anything else. So what I did is I went to Home Depot and I got these other attachments. These are called speed bores and they're good for putting holes in woody objects very quickly. So you can use anything. We're going to use a half inch speed bore with blue edge technology. So just put the bit in the drill. Nice and secure. Make sure it works. Um, you need something to pour it into. You can kind of go freestyle and just let the coconut pour out. Because you're boring it, there's usually some some pith and things like that, so I'm going to strain it a little bit, and um, tonight we'll do it through a, uh, you know, we'll do it through a tea strainer. So just put a hole anywhere. I found after many times that putting a hole right in the side works best. Move the drill out of the way for everyone to see. And it's a little slow to come out until you put another hole in the top and kind of see the. So a little weird story I saw online after researching coconut juice was that in World War II, the U.S. Army medics used to plug IVs straight from coconut, coconuts into wounded soldier, soldiers' um, veins because they say that the coconut water has the same properties as blood plasma. So it was a very easy uh, thing. Very good. It's a little nutty. It's got a bit of astringency, but if it was chilled, like I normally like to do it, I think it would go down very smooth. Len, do you want to take a little bit? Good. Nutty. So I'm going to put a lid on. Len's going to take it home, put it in his mother's refrigerator for the rest of the night, and enjoy it in the morning as a way to fend off the few beers that he had this evening. Namaste.